Hello, my friends. I'm here to answer a question that was asked uh, in the Power BI Career Q&A. And this question was, how can I find a finance and a Power BI job? And let me give you a little bit of the background. Um, and that's what these live calls let us do to help me really understand the background and help give you specific help. So in this situation, the person had been in an accounting and finance role and they had discovered Power BI, fallen in love with it. Um, yeah, in fact, the words that they used were, well, uh, yeah, I get such a high when I use it. Oh, gosh, incredible emotion. And I love that. Love that. I know exactly what you're talking about, right? So they fell in love with Power BI, but now they are looking for a role where they can do that stuff. They can combine these two strengths that they have, finance plus Power BI. But what they were saying was that they were not finding that many jobs which do mention both and things like that right so so let's dive into it now of course as i mentioned this was asked to us um asked to to uh, in the power bi career q a call and we do a whole bunch of live events on talk power bi uh, uh, com. of course we do the career q a which i just mentioned we do the technical q a where well you can ask like dax and m questions or whatever we do the dashboard showcase and makeover that's a lot of fun and we do a ton of other conferences and events so check that out on talkpowerbi.com Hey, and hey, join us live. So next time you can ask your own question and you and I can chat. So what, what advice did I have for this person? And again, sometimes we end up talking for 15 to 45 minutes. Um, but I'm going to give you a quicker version of that. So don't worry. Um, so so again, when they're applying for finance jobs, they, um, you know, sometimes they can mention Power BI. I think there are some jobs out there. Uh, and of course, that's that's not an issue. We did talk about what if the job mentions Tableau. I'm going to skip over that for this call. And what I'm going to focus on is this. Uh, they're applying for jobs where they do not mention Power BI or Tableau. It's a finance role. And this is what they were finding the majority of the jobs out there. Right. So and again, your situation might be different. I do think that they are quite a few jobs which specifically ask for financial expertise and power bi uh, i do think there are lots of jobs out there but due to whatever reasons you know uh, this person wasn't finding those jobs and and yeah it's I, I can get it that more jobs are probably just purely finance they'll say oh you know finance this finance that but they don't mention power bi so the advice that i had for for uh, in this case was that to ask good questions. Now that may seem silly, but it's not. And let me explain. Now, one of the best ways to get a job is to actually have the job be created for you or custom tailored for you or custom fit for you. And it happens more often than you would realize. I've had a lot of our members report about these experiences where they walk in for job A, but then they started talking about Power BI and they blow them away and the person says, yeah, that's what we really need. So again, but there is an art to do it and I would walk you through a little bit and, and uh, I'll give you some of the tips that I shared in, in our live call, right? So again, asking good questions is really important. So um, the first set of questions that you're gonna ask is, is ask them about their data challenges, right? So see what they talk about that. And again, you can generally say, hey, uh, maybe talk about your experience that, hey, I, I was in this, in this finance role and we were having these challenges. The close was taking too long and uh, it would take a week to refresh the report, lots of formulas. There was a lot of pain. And this is what I did. I used this new tool from Microsoft, Microsoft Power BI, and automated things and made it streamlined and the department loved it. And and then you can ask them, hey, yeah, yeah tell me about you. How does reporting work? Do you have challenges around that? So you can you can have it be very open ended, or you can be a little more specific. So you can say, "Oh, tell me about the challenges," or, or, or you don't have to use the word challenges. Like, tell me about your close process. How how does it work? I mean, is it yeah, is it painful? Is it <laughs> pain free? Right? I mean, you know. So yeah. So so uh, gently ask them about that, and and sometimes you might hit a nerve and they will go like, oh my God, yeah, don't get me started. It's so painful. How, and, and they would be really curious and ask you about that. So again, so even if they hadn't advertised for Power BI, this conversation can lead to them custom fitting the role for you, right? But again, this is just step one. Now, another way that you can um, uh, ask this question 
is, is zero in on specific challenge. So data challenges, by the way, are generally universal, right? Every company is struggling to combine multiple data sources, even if they have built a billion dollar data warehouse. I don't care. It's never 100%, right? So there's always a CSV file <laughs> that needs to be pulled in, right? So, so multiple data sources, always the case. Data cleanup, always an issue. Uh, having no central model, always an issue, although Think about this central model is a solution. So what I would encourage you is to look at what are the symptoms of that. The symptoms of that could be like the, you know, lots of complex formulas, things like that. Uh, uh, and, and, you know, so again, um, uh, uh, they, they might not have the dynamic uh, reporting that Power, Power BI has. But again, that is a solution. Don't discuss the solution, discuss the, um, the problem, right? So the symptom of that would be that if you don't have dynamic reporting, imagine it's a PDF or PowerPoint, then you know, you're know walking out of the meeting with a ton of action items. If somebody asks a question, like, what is, why is that so high? You can't just click on that and say, oh, that's why, right? So, um, so and, the, and the last one, again, the solution is report sharing, but what is a symptom is the question that truly annoyed me, which was people incessantly asked me, he's like, Avi, hey, can you, can you send me the latest report? And I'm like, oh, did I send you last night? Oh, that was version 1.2, I can't find it. All of that stuff, right? So again, easy report sharing. So if you want, you can ask them about a specific challenge. Say, like, hey, does that happen to you? Do people walk into meetings and their data doesn't agree or reports don't match? So this is an opening question, and then you need to judge how the discussion goes. Were they engaged? Did they get excited? And, and there are other things you can look for or ask about to indicate that are, are they going to be open to this this idea of this Power BI. And of course, the last step they need to make sure is at some point during the interview, certainly before you accept your job, is to make it clear that, hey, we had a lot of discussion around finance and Power BI, and, and, and you know that the kind of work that I've done by... Uh, empowering the finance teams that I work with using Power BI, and I'm expecting to continue that and grow in that direction. Do you think that that would be possible in this role? And maybe you can even get more specific and you can say, what do you think the, the you know, kind of the, the ratio would be? Just just roughly, just to just so I have an idea. I mean, would I, would I have 50% of my focus on kind of Power BI automation reporting and, you know, implementing it, but also learning as well, right? Going on that journey, would I be supported in that? Or, or what is it gonna be, right? So again, so again, um, as I said, one of the best ways to get a job is to uh, convince them that this job needs to be created for you. And this can happen in formal interviews, but can also happen in any of the informal meetings. You know, you could be meeting with somebody just for a networking, just for an informational uh, meeting, which you should be doing on a regular basis. So keep an eye out for that in those meetings too. All right, I'll talk to you in the next one. Uh, and hey, um, if you are interested, definitely go to learnpowerbi.com and check out our training and coaching programs. Take care, power on. <laughs>